Bay Redemption family, Pastor Alex here, and I am excited to worship Jesus with you today. Uh, If you're new here and maybe you've been tuning in the last couple of weeks and you live here in the Seattle area, uh, we want to be able to follow up with you. And so if you would, go to our website, uh, fill out the connect form there, and we will be quick to follow up. We just, you know, we don't want anybody to fall through the cracks in this season uh, of our church. And so thank you for tuning in. We're glad you're here with us. Whether you're a Christian or not, if you're on the fence about Jesus and the gospel and all of that, you know, we are present to you. We're here for you. Uh, Next thing is this. I have just two announcements. First, uh, today we have a members meeting at 1 p.m. And so you should have received an email from me uh, giving you the login details for that. We're not going to spend all afternoon on line, but we will spend just a little bit of time together. Uh, I do want to just update you on a few things going on in and around Redemption Church. So that's today at 1 p.m. The other thing is this. Gentlemen, this Wednesday, we're beginning our study through Pete Scazzaro's Emotionally Healthy Spirituality. And so we have two sessions available, one in the morning and one in the evening. It's going to be covering the same content, whether it's morning or evening, but we wanted to give two options based on your schedule and what works for you. So this is going to be a really good time. It's going to stretch us. It's going to challenge us. It's going to work on our souls and our emotional health. And the reason why we're doing this study is because in the gospel, we're called not merely to to just think, but to feel. And we want our emotional life to square with what God has called us to be as his men in the world. And so, men, I'm looking forward to touching base with you on Wednesday. It's going to be a great time. So go ahead and do your reading. And um, if you have any questions about that, please just send me an email at alex at redemptionseattle.com. All right. So today we're going to do something a bit differently um, as we worship Jesus together. You know, we've been gathering now for about 10 weeks or so in our online digital liturgy. And so far, it's it seems to have gone pretty well. You know, we've received dozens and dozens of emails and texts and phone calls, and people just saying, thank you for doing this. I'm growing. And, you know, God is still working powerfully in our church, even as we gather together online. Um, at the same time, over the last 10 weeks, many of us have spent, I don't know, innumerable hours on screens, television screens, phone screens, computer screens, oftentimes looking at another face on that screen that's talking back to us, giving us some kind of information that we need to, you know, assimilate and digest and respond to. And uh, today, we're going to do something a little different. Um, Today, we are not going to have Dan lead us in worship the way he has been, where you see him on the screen. Uh, I am not going to be preaching to you via the screen in the traditional sense. You won't see Natalie leading us in confession. You won't see Kelly uh, speaking to the kids. Like It's going to be a little bit differently. And that is because we want to be faithfully present to God, self, and one another. And in an effort to be faithfully present to you, we thought we would uh, free up a little bit of space on your visual hard drive today. And so if you have the letter that I wrote you, go ahead and go find that, that you should have received in the mail. Go find that letter, open it up. I'm going to narrate that for you in a few minutes. Uh, And that in, in that letter, it contains good news of comfort and encouragement in the gospel. Uh, if you did not receive that letter, but you want a copy of the letter from me to, to our people, that's also available at redemptionseattle.com. You can go there now. You can access that. There's a PDF there on our website. And so you can get that there as well. So with that being said, we are going to take communion later in the service. We're going to sing to Jesus and we're going to hear the good news of the gospel. And so in this moment, give your mind, your heart, your soul, a bit of breathing room. Make yourself available. 
maybe one simple prayer to pray this morning would be this. God, I am present to you. Thank you for being present to me. Let's begin our day. of our God and King Lift up your voice and with us sing Oh, praise Him Alleluia Thou burning sun with golden beam Thou silver moon with softer gleam Thank you.
Dear Redemption family, I wanted to write you a letter of encouragement. I miss you so much that it hurts. I think about you every single day. I pray for each of you by name. <laughs> you know, I work out of my laundry room. <laughs> it's cozy, but it's not the same. When I come into our church building and preach the sermon to a camera, I promise I'm picturing your faces. I know all of this technology can make things feel so impersonal. I'm sorry. At the same time, I'm so thankful that we can still communicate. The writer of Hebrews instructs us in chapter three to encourage one another day after day. So that's what this is. I want to encourage you. The way I will is by reminding you of what God says about you. You are not God's employee. You are not God's enemy. You are not a burden to God. Like Abraham, you are the friend of God. Like David, you are the apple of his eye. Like Moses, he speaks to you often. Like Job, he is there for you when it hurts and life seems too hard to go on. Like Hosea, he is faithful even when you are not. Like Peter, he gives you another chance and then another. Like Paul, you are called, chosen, forgiven, justified, and free. Like John, you're the one Jesus loves. Oh, how Jesus loves. He loves you.
He delights in you. He likes you. He thinks about you. He prays for you. He is with you. feels like we are wandering a bit in the wilderness, but God is faithful. He will take us to the land of milk and honey. Your neighbor, Pastor Alex. Redemption family, now's the time in which we are going to participate in receiving communion. Everything you just heard read in that letter is true. It's not because it's my words. These are words that were penned down by the prophets and the apostles about the person and the work of Jesus. You see, our faith is not something that we merely speculate about or contemplate, but it's something that is etched into history. 
Romans 5.8 says that God demonstrates his own love toward us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. That Jesus did not wait for us to clean our act up before he would love us, but rather he saw us in our sin and gave himself for us. So as you receive communion today, remember, you're the one Jesus loves. He gave his life for you. So when you eat of the bread and drink of the cup, remember, this is the truth. Jesus is for me. Jesus is with me. Jesus loves me. This is also a time in which we uh, can participate in, in giving of tithes and offerings. And so if that's you and you're growing as a disciple here at Redemption, uh, you can uh, participate in giving online. So if you go to redemptionseattle.com, there's a link there with all the information that you need in order to participate in that way. Lastly, if you want someone to pray with you, we have a prayer team that would love to follow up with you. So if you would, send us an email, prayer at redemptionseattle.com, and we will follow up immediately. All right, with that being said, let's jump back into worship.
fall is to stand before the throne and on Christ the solid rock I stand all of the ground is sinking sand all of the ground is sinking sand and on Christ the solid Redemption family, for your benediction today, comes from the doxology in Jude. It says this, Now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you blameless before the presence of his glory with great joy, to the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ our Lord, be glory, majesty, dominion, and authority before all time and now and forever. Amen.